Good afternoon, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It's Friday, March 12th, the feast day of St. Maximilian of Tabessa, the Maximilian that we don't know as much about because he is not Maximilian Kolbe, but Maximilian of Tabessa is also a saint and also a martyr. Um, he was a martyr of the faith uh, back in the late 200s um, in what is current day or modern day Tabessa, Algeria. Uh, and evidently he was beheaded on the spot whenever he refused to swear allegiance to the emperor as a soldier getting ready for war. Because he, as a Christian, he only swore allegiance to God. So they cut his head off. So... Happy Friday. Anyway, today's gospel is from Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 through 34. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. One of the scribes, when he came forward and heard them disputing and saw how well he had answered them, asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying he is one, and there is no other than he and to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. Okay, so we've got the, the greatest commandment uh, today, in which... Gosh, Jesus makes it sound so simple, and they seem to understand him. Um, and Jesus says, you're not far off from the kingdom of God. No more questions. You're good. But how hard is that commandment? You know, it is just one line. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And how difficult is that? to do. However, is it really that difficult? Um, because all the things that we need to do in order to do that are actually very simple. Um, I fall into this trap this trap an awful lot, which I think a lot of people do. Of you know, and that's why God brings certain people into your life of you know whenever you know you're struggling with something or something needs to change, or you know that you need to change, but you're struggling doing it, and then someone's like, just do this. It's really that, It's really just that simple. And that's, uh, I think that's something that we can learn from today, um, especially during Lent, you know. So let's say you want to lose some weight. So then your Lenten observance is to not eat. So you, you're like, gosh, I'm really struggling losing weight. And then someone says, we'll stop eating between meals. Very simple statement, but how difficult it can be and how difficult we oftentimes make some, something simple, super difficult. So that's the challenge today. Uh, so I can stop rambling is just try your best amongst the difficulty and the discipline that it takes. Um, and again, I'm speaking to myself. Um, don't overcomplicate things because sometimes Things really are just that simple. Have a great day. God bless. Keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.